Okay, so you have some stack pipe here. Yeah, so let's let's go about setting up the stack pipe. Now I've, I've seen a lot of pictures of how people did it and often it's done uh, with the exact um, hardware that we give you. We give you a ring for uh, supporting the stack pipe. That, this is a guy ring. We, this gives you three points to tie down. Um, I saw it done wrong one time and the person tied straight down. They had a wheel kit and they tied the wires straight down to the wheels. And um, it's worth mentioning, even though it's obvious to me that that wouldn't hold, um, it's worth mentioning because some people do overlook that. So guy wires can't be tied straight down. The whole point is to tie off like, um, like the way you see a radio antenna. Often the, the base of the wires, the ground of the wires is sometimes a quarter mile away uh, in the middle of a farm field. Um, uh, away from the, the base of the tower. So similar similar principle here. I've also seen some people that skip this step altogether. They set up a big extension ladder behind and use that to support the stack pipe. That or makes a it easier. basketball hoop or a clothesline yeah, I've seen pole. Hoops and clotheslines and a million things because that makes it easy for when you're going to wheel it away at the end of each day. Um, there's no wires to deal with untying and so forth. So. I'm just going to show you one basic way to do it. Um, there is no wire um, in, in the installation kit that's not included with the arch. So use whatever you have. At least the first foot of it needs to be non-flammable um, so, or, or, or non-meltable. Um, so I'm just using some regular binding wire that I have here. And that's the kind of thing that almost everybody has in some form. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is, and again, this, this stack pipe has been used. That's why you see um, it, it has the lost some of its sheen because this was installed already. This whole evaporator was installed. Already. And I'm going to check it for plumb. Those chickens up too. They are laying an egg, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure if the listener can hear that, but oh, so, so that was you. What was you making all that noise? What's going on? Did you just lay an egg? So did you put that on a certain like pre like could it just go on any which way or well, you're a, you're pre-planning where you're Yeah, I so where is it going? The pipe is in the back. I just naturally do that without thinking just because from the front you won't see the seam of the pipe. That doesn't matter. Um, but these two ears I'm trying to send off at an e at an equal angle um, away from the side of the arch. I don't want one of these to go straight forward. That would put the guy support right in front of the loading door. Or That'd be silly. Whatever. So yeah. So I'm just trying to send these away at an even angle. Then there's a third one that go that's going to go down to the ground behind me, completely out of the way. So that's the only thing I was mindful of. So basically, your your bolt joint is at the back, and I'm just going to go a tad bit tighter, and we're done. All right. And then I'm going to measure, I'm going to end up with a guy support. I'd like to have it over here somewhere, maybe centered on the arch and a few feet away. Um, that will make the guy support pretty much out of the way uh, so that we can operate. The draw off valve is going to be right about here. Of course, the loading door is going to need attention. Um, so I'm going to run the support to about right here. I'm going to want that in the same place on both sides. Let's just say four feet away. Stakes, use whatever you have for stakes. So a lot of people use wood. Um, I just have some metal that I punched a hole in that I'm going to use for a stake. So, um, or like camping like, tent poles? A camp, yeah, a, a, a sturdy or tent post will stake, work. I mean. um, I'm going into frozen ground. I'm going to have a challenge getting these in. Another very viable option that works really well is a cinder block. Instead of any kind of a stake, you tie off to a cinder block. 
A cinder block is uh, often they're 50 cents, either that or they're 99 cents bought locally. Cinder blocks work well for for tying off the dashboard. Heavy and whatever. They're plenty heavy. Yep. I'm gonna drive those in at least part way. Very frozen ground. I'm gonna get them started. I'm gonna pound them in further with a with the back of a splitting maul or a sledgehammer. So you're pointing them away from the evaporator, yeah, I see. Slightly. Just to give them more strength. Ground is plenty frozen, about four inches down. Which is why we see all the standing water. That will go away later. I'm going to take a rough measurement of the guy wires. It's like exactly 8 feet. 95 inches. So what kind of wire is this? This is just binding wire, colored binding wire. Colored is kind of nice. Because, you can see it. Because it's easier to see. And uh, often when you're boiling sap, as most people know, you end up with a crowd. So having a, a wire that's easy to see is helpful. Um, you can tie flags, orange or flags that you use for marking trees or trails. Uh, often that will help too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up the end and make a hook. Okay. The reason I'm doing that is because if someone does trip on the wire, I would rather have this hook bend and come disconnected than have the stack pipe pull down. So this will give way before the stack pipe will tumble. So mm -hmm. it's just a, a small safety measure. Okay. And I measured about eight feet. So I'm gonna cut these a little bit long. Here's a strong six feet. Plus an additional 30 inches. And I'm going to take the time to make uh, two more sets just like this. Okay, so we have the three guy wires uh, cut a little bit stronger than we need, a little bit longer than we need. We'll hook that in there. Go up. I'm trying not to bump the stack pipe because right now it's plumb. This is pretty strong wire. There's no need to go overly tight with it. I'm going to leave it as is for now. We'll get all three positioned and then make adjustments if we need to. Yes. There it is. Now, I can make small adjustments and tighten the wires simply by driving in my stakes further. Cool. Yeah, those are pretty visible. They're very visible. They're nice and tight. And they offer a ton of support. Good. We can now go ahead and run our self-tapping screws in. These are stainless steel self-tappers. You can buy these at your local home store or hardware store. Can you show me up close what they look like? You bet. What do you mean self-tapper? They actually have a, a, a drilling, a drill cutter head formed into the end of each screw. So you don't have to like tap so, a hole first or So you whatever. don't need to drill a hole ahead of time. 
some people do even when they're using these they will still drill holes that's your prerogative it's up to you guys great well we'll finish drilling at each joint putting three in and then the stack pipe will be all set yeah and it's uh it's time to have fun yeah